Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for watching our video. Mr. Nolan's here with me today. Hello. And he's going to help me demonstrate this play therapy intervention, which we call Feelings Face Off. It's sort of like a fun, friendly feelings competition. <laughs> Have you ever done one of those before? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying probably most people have it. But this is really cool and it's really fun. And it's a great way to help kids just start thinking about and talking about feelings in a more playful, relaxed way. Because obviously we know that some kids come into therapy and they really don't want to talk about feelings, think about feelings, or go there, right? Uh, so we're going to show you how to do this game, which can be uh, really fun and informative and also just kind of start you down the road of helping to identify feelings, talk about feelings, express feelings, etc. So let's just stop talking about it and get into the game. So what we would use is a piece of paper and then myself and a child would both have something to write with. So we're just got some markers. Pick your color, Nolan. Mm. Whatever color you like. Blue or green? It's up to you. You get to choose. Wait, one or two? Just one. Okay. One is blue and green is yellow. <laughs> okay. One is blue and green is yellow and purple is pink. Yes. All right. Well, now we all understand. I'm going to just choose good old black. So what we're going to do in Feelings Face Off is we're going to take turns naming a feeling and writing it on our paper. And so if the child can't write, you can write for them. I mean, it's not a spelling exercise, so that doesn't matter. So you can write for them. They can just say it or they can write it themselves. And then we're going to keep going back and forth, naming a feeling until one person can't think of a feeling or guess what? If somebody accidentally repeats. I've played something like this before. Remember, uh, I played a game where we tossed a ball back and forth. Uh -huh. yeah. And when someone caught the ball, they had to say a feeling and they couldn't repeat it. And if they couldn't think of one in like three seconds, then they lost and the other person wins. That's right. And that's a fun game too. Uh, so, you know the rules, right? Yes. I'll go first, then you go. We'll go back and forth. Try not to repeat and try to think of something. If we get to a point where someone repeats or they can't think of something, then that part of the game is over and we go to the second part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go first. Do you want to write your own feelings or do you want me to write them? I want to write them. Okay. I'm going to go first. Doesn't matter where we put on the paper. And I'm putting happy. Joyous. Joyous? I know you're going to start out hardcore. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'm just going to do sad. Mad. All right. How about excited? Sick. Sick. Okay, how about proud? Tired. Oh. Uh, how about confused? Determined. Determined? Oh my gosh. You're going to know a lot of these, I feel like. How about jealous? Oh, I think this is a word. I can see you thinking. You think this is a feeling word? Is that a feeling? Ambiguous. Is that a word? It's a word. Is it a feeling? Um, Not probably quite a feeling. I don't really know the definition of it. It means like that something is not really clear. Ah. Uh, it's sort of, you know, it's not clear what it is or what's going on. It's ambiguous. Okay, confused. Well, Mr. Nolan, that is a repeat. I did confused earlier. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you should probably just get credit for knowing the word ambiguous. But so now that we've got our paper done, let's show everybody what it looks like. <laughs> then um, here's the second part. So since you didn't quite come out as the victor this time, I get to choose five of these feelings that we came up with, any five, yours or mine, I'm gonna circle them right now, okay? And you have to then pick two, three, let's do four. You, okay, I picked jealous, sad, joyous, tired and confused. Now you get to pick two of the ones I circled that you have to share about. Like try to think of a time that you felt that way. And just any of the five, you just pick two of them, your choice. Well, you circled two of mine, so I could just mm -hmm. do mine. You can do any of them that I circled. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do mine. Okay. Tired and joyous. Tired and joyous. I, I felt tired this morning because I had to wake up mm -hmm. and I felt joyous. When yesterday I found two toys in a bin that I found in my closet. Oh, that, that obviously you were excited to find, and it made you I feel. actually found five. Wow. Uh, four of them, they were all toys that I collected, mm -hmm. but four, four, four of them were these weird little toys, and one of them was a little zombie toy that I collect. They're like That's squishy. Sweet. So you were very joyous yes. at the discovery. I was also find. I was also surprised. Mixed feelings, right? Yes. You felt joy, you felt surprised. And then this morning confused. you felt tired. Yes. And I also felt confused on why there were toys in that bit. And that was one of our other feelings. You did three. Wow. Above and beyond. Feelings over achiever. Actually four. Uh, yeah, we, well, we added one we didn't even talk about, yes. right? So, good job. And we could play another round and do this again. And we'd probably come up with some different feelings. Um, we can play as many rounds as we want to. And it's very simple, but just kind of a fun, little, easy, neat way to talk about feelings. So, hopefully... That's something that you can use in your work um, with the kids that you work with. Thank you, Nolan, for helping me with this. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, if you want to know more about all play therapy, check out the all play therapy website, which is just easy. It's allplaytherapy.com. That's easy. All right. And we'll see you next time. Bye.